Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to another exciting mod spotlight. And this mod spotlight is called Magic Utilities by Lemons ZZ. And what this does is it adds several things to Minecraft. As you can see right here, it adds a whole hefty list of stuff to Minecraft. So let's go ahead and get started and go one by one through the items that it's adding. So the first thing is, and this is the base core recipe for what you're going to need for the whole thing, is an unstable core. Now it can be made two ways, that way or that way. It takes end stone, it takes regular stone, it takes netherrack, and it takes either a nether star, which gains you five of these unstable cores, or it takes the same recipe but with diamond block that only gives you one unstable core. So it's kind of an expensive mod, but you'll see why. You'll see why, exactly why. So uh, here we go. We have a time manipulator with four clocks, two redstone, and your unstable core. You get a time manipulator. This one is my favorite addition, as he says. Simply right click and time will adjust forward. Hold right click and watch as the moon and sun glides over you. So if you just like, whoa. Pretty amazing, right? Pretty amazing. A little sparky, but it's amazing. As you can see, the moon's moving. We're getting mobs, so I might as well turn it to daytime because I don't want mobs. I don't want mobs. So that is a pretty neat effect, and it's called Time Manipulator as well. So that's pretty awesome. So the next thing is called a bag of unstable air. So it creates by leather, so two diamonds and another unstable core, and you get this bag of unstable air. Now what it does is you're probably thinking, well, it's just a bag of air, right? Well. It's really a little handheld jetpack. So if I right click it, I can use it as a jetpack. Fly up in air. Now, I do think that. Okay, you can die by it, so it does not prevent death. <laughs> so there you go, right there. It's not something that's going to prevent death, but if you need to get somewhere pretty fast, you could use it. It makes a nice little sound effect, and whoa! You might be careful with it. Just be very careful if you're using the bag of air. All right, so we have the sustenance calibrator. So this is really cool. What this is going to do is it's going to take your health and drain it for food. So for instance, if I had some hearts that were down, for example, I got to wait for some hearts to get down, or I'm sorry, uh, some meat chunks to get down. We'll uh, hopefully get some down here in a second. If I punch a lot. Maybe. Just punch a lot. Sir, punch a lot. Let's punch a cow. Come on, cow. You can die eventually. But the effect of it is basically, it's a nice trade-off. You basically trade off your hearts for meat bars. But if you think about it, if you fill your meat bars up, your hearts are going to fill up. So it's pretty cool. Uh, if you think about it, it will work to your advantage if you use it wisely. If you don't use it wisely, then it might not work to your advantage. You could end up dying. We're gonna go ahead and keep it on us just in case we do end up getting a meat bar down so I can show you the full effects of it. Uh, so that was the sustenance calibrator, really cool. Uh, we also have a vial of life. I really do not like the fact that we have mobs as in those piece of junk slimes that make all that noise in the background. Okay, so a vial of life. What's it do exactly? Well. It's made with bones. It's made with you, and this means you're gonna have to get uh, what's it called? Um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. You know the enchantment that you can actually pick stuff up without ruining it. Yeah, that enchantment, <laughs> as well as grass and an unstable core. But basically, it's an infinite supply of. I mean, I just totally deleted it. Nice. It's an infinite supply of bone mill. So go back for the vial of life. Ch -ch -ch -ch. And if I click the ground with it, as you can see, bone mill, bone mill, bone mill, bone mill. It's just an infinite supply of bone mill in a bag. But you're going to need to get all of this stuff. And it's not really that expensive if you think about it. A diamond block's not really that expensive. But you will have to go to the end. So it is an ender type or an end game type uh, item. Right over here we have the weather disruptor. Now all this is is a basic... Uh, turning off and on of weather so it's gonna rain it's not gonna rain but it's raining right now and I just turned it off as well because I right clicked again so if you want an easy way in game to turn rain off and on and off this is a cool mod to do it again it's just another unstable core with some smooth stone like three buckets one filled with water the next thing is a life extractor oh my gosh I'm gonna kill you diamond of awesomeness. Go ahead, attack me. 
attack me, bro. Just attack me. See, and these things make even worse sound, I think. I would say. They make even louder sounds. Alright, did we kill them all? We're good. Okay. <laughs> so now we have the life extractor. Now what I do believe this does... Oh, we have our meat bar, by the way. Down. So, as you can see, it trades off. The life extractor is pretty cool. It takes the life of something else. Uh, for example, I come over here and I punch a mob with this little dagger thing. It's going to take its life and give me its life. So, it's kind of a trade-off, you know? You're... Hey, can I have your health? Sure, why not? So that's pretty cool, right? And then again, we can use this if we wanted to <laughs> to take our hearts away and get our meat bars up. Magic Infuser is the next thing. It's right here. It's kind of made the same way uh, one of these are made, except for with, yeah, obsidian. So you have the infuser right there, and then you have an unstable core. So this is really kind of, you, you want to be in a safe area to use this, okay? So your magic infuser you throw it down on the ground and then if you hit it with this thing right here you get this thing called nightmare fuel now nightmare nightmare fuel is basically it's almost an infinite supply of coal it, it works as something like that it's a lot of coal basically a huge supply of coal so if you put it in a furnace you can use it for coal also if you right click it again you will get or actually if you just right click it itself you're going to take a lot of damage. Hunger, poison, nausea, blindness too. So you're going to be starving. But what it does give you is these things right here. Which for some reason it duplicates one and puts it on the ground. I think that's a bug. It actually says it's a ghost client side item appearing. So yeah, it's a bug. But what this nightmare uh, core does is it enables you. And it's made just like that I just showed you. Uh, it enables you to make the staff of lightning and the nightmare sword. So those are basically made with the nightmare core that you have, obsidian and iron for the uh, staff of lightning, and uh, one stick for the sword. So there is the staff of lightning, and here is the sword. So what these neat little things do. The staff of lightning is the first magic staff in the mod, points where you want, and lightning will spawn. I can of course just uh, however I want mess with stuff. I don't know why. I guess you take damage if you use it, apparently. So that's really nice. Actually, not nice at all, but yeah. You take damage if you use it. This one does not have an effect when you right-click it, but it does actually change stuff out. And then you have the sword that you can use. The sword, a uh, very powerful sword, but it may have some subtle side effects. So if I come over here and hit a cow, I probably will take damage. Oh, oh no, I won't. What's the side effects, then? It just says subtle, subtle side effects. So I have no clue exactly what the side effects are. But there's many more things to come. And actually you can tell right now there's more things to come. Because if I go back here, there is this thing called Summon Attack Pig. Unfortunately though, if I right click it, first of all it has no texture. And second of all, if I right click it, it says, uh, sorry, this is disabled for now. So <laughs> apparently there will be attack pigs later on. So that's going to be pretty awesome. So check up on this mod. A link will be down in the comment section. I'm sorry, description below. I say that every time. And we will see you guys in the next mod review. Don't forget to like if you really enjoy this mod. And other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Bye, everyone.